Nash the, and Young. It was do. Nash and Young were out there and they were fighting and Nash and Hall were separated by security in credits. There you go. Fantastic. I would have much preferred either the Samoa Joe thing or the Angle promo ending the show. Either one. Yeah. There's no reason for the Hall and Nash thing to end it. After Impact, the next day on Friday night, Smack Drew. That's oh. right. No longer SmackDown. Uh-uh, cut that shit out. It's Smack Drew. Because cause SmackDown was yours, but now it's But mine. now it's mine. Because Drew McIntyre owns this show. Bitches. Okay, this is actually part of the news or whatever, but I thought this was a funny bit. Um, apparently backstage, WWE wrestlers are calling Drew McIntyre Avatar because they make fun of him because he's kind of pussy whipped by Tiffany because Tiffany tells him what to do. Uh, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Tiffany could tell me what to do anytime. Yeah, but I just thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> apparently they even did, like, John Morrison even did, like, a promo calling him an avatar. That's, that's clever. That's, that's hilarious. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, this SmackDown was kind of uneventful, basically. Uh... Kane defeated Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Drew tried to attack, but Kane fought him off to hype up their Intercontinental title match. Uh, Crime Time defeated the Dude Busters. Aw, damn. Yeah, it was pretty much jobbing, but... Do uh, they have the straight... any future at all? Everybody has a future on SmackDown. You mean Smack Drew? Smack Drew. Edit that out. God damn it, man. Uh, uh, Straight Edge Society took on R Truth and John Morrison. Uh, Ray even came down for the save after Morrison got hurt. Uh, Straight Edge Society just destroyed everyone. Good way it should be. Um, the Hart Dynasty took on Matt Hardy, Great Collie, and Maria. Okay, are they trying to beat like the Crime Time record? I think they're trying to be like, how many times can we have Hart Dynasty face off against uh, Collie and Matt Hardy? Like they're trying to like. Why beat the, the fuck old is Matt Hardy and Great Collie still teaming? I thought that was like for one week. Why are they? Is, no. No, why they, are they tagged for like a month or two. I know. I thought that was gonna be like a one-time thing with them dancing and shit, but no. I guess. And then they throw Maria in there. Like what? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make Maria kind of like almost like Lita, because like Hardy was like helping her after the mash, and he was like you know being all like nice and stuff. So. Yeah. Um. Next week on Smack Drew is going to be Michelle McCool versus Mickey for the women's title, and Vicky will be the guest referee. Oh, what a heel. Heel, heel, heel. On uh, the main event, Edge versus Batista. Um, Edge's first ma singles match back. Um, didn't get very far because Undertaker came down and attacked Edge, and then Jericho came down and then attacked Edge, so. Kind of just da, 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 beat da, 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 On this day. <laughs> Get your ass kicked. Yeah. And we're going to move on to the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view now. Uh, this started off with the WWE Championship Chamber. Um, It wasn't better than the other chamber, but it was it was it had its moments. What did you think of it? I thought it was all right. I liked the Batista part. Like, that was the best part of the whole match. And what I, Batista part? He wasn't in the match. John Cena won. I was so excited when John Cena won. I was like, yes, Triple H, tap, tap, tap. Yes, John Cena's the new WWE champion. That was so exciting. And then, dun 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 dun, dun, dun. Nee -nee -nee. Yeah. And Mr. Command's like, here, let me hand you an invisible money in the bank. Here's your match. Yay. Because everybody likes cashing in their title shots after Elimination Chamber matches. Yay. Mm-hmm. All right. So Batista uh, then, came out and beat Cena, and he is now your WWE champion. Fantastic. Ah, uh, the Intercontinental Champion. What is Drew yours? Yeah, exactly. Defeated Kane pretty soundly, actually. Um... It was supposed to be the finals of the Divas tournament or whatever for the Divas Swerve. title, but Swerve. Vicky came out and said the Raw Divas have been trash talking the SmackDown Divas, so they did Lay Cool versus Kim and Maurice, which Lay Cool beat them. Mm, that proved a lot. Yeah, I guess. No. Uh, in an impromptu match, uh, Miz defeated uh, MVP. I heard this was really good. Awesome. <laughs> no, it was awesome. There you go. That's even better. Yep. Uh, in the main event, the World Championship 
in the elimination chamber was really good. I, this was an awesome chamber, probably one of the best. I guess you could say the fans were on fire for this match. I guess you could say they were very hot for this match. I guess you could say Undertaker got, burned, got burned on his entrance. <laughs> yeah. He got burned pretty badly. That looked Did you see the not the like how they showed it on, on like on on the pay per view or whatever, but did you see like the, the somebody crowd? took like a video yeah. live? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looked horrible. I, like when I watched the pay per view I was like, Oh, that wasn't that bad. I barely saw anything. But when they showed it from the side view He's like clearly he on engulfed. fire and then he's like fuck, 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 fuck and then he just starts running and damn. And he continued with the match. What a badass. Yeah, I saw like, like the ref the referee was like handing him water bottles so he could pour himself during the match. Like if if he would have really freaked out and instead of just like running he like started screaming like a little bitch and like rolling on the floor and stuff, that would have fucking the, ruined his character. Been the best <laughs> best entrance for him ever though. Yeah, the elimination chamber was pretty good and everything. Uh, I liked how Undertaker <laughs> He was uh, burnt pretty badly if you wa if you looked at like when the camera focused on him while he was inside of his pod, you could see his whole chest was like completely red. I know how you like you talk shit about Undertaker quite a bit. Okay, he actually did have a good showing in this. I was actually and I was actually he was thinking fucking that. burned. Yeah. And he was on Raw the next night, which was awesome to see. Yeah. Uh, in the chamber main event or ending or whatever. Uh, Shawn Michaels came out from under the ring through the little steel plating and then came up, kicked Taker, and then Jericho got the 1-2-3. You knew world champion Chris Jericho, which moves us right, right along to uh, Raw, which I was actually at live because it was in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, it was awesome. It was the best show I've been to live. It really was. Hmm. How did the show start off? Uh, the show started off with, um, uh, actually Jericho cutting a promo about being the new world champion, which was awesome. Crowd was booing the shit out of it. Uh, all of a sudden Edge's music hits, and I was legit, like, when I was watching, I was like, oh, I kept, like, looking at the entrance, I was like, where's, Ed? come on, Edge, come out, come out. And then I didn't even, like, by the time, like, he speared him, I just turned around, I was like, oh, holy shit. It was an awesome moment. Yeah. This is pretty. I'm I'm excited for that match, Jericho yeah. and Edge. Yeah, so I mean Edge we've been calling that for a while, quite a now, while, but still it'll be awesome. Yeah. So Edge said he's gonna face Jericho at WrestleMania, and then immediately, dee 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 dee. Yes, Cena came running down or whatever, and oh, not running down. Actually, he was limping because he was hurt. Uh, he said he wanted, you know, his WWE title rematch back tonight and everything. And Vince came out and he said, you can have your title match at WrestleMania if you defeat somebody tonight, and it'll be Batista. So he has to face Batista later that night. Yep. And right after that was the, the finals of the Divas tournament. Maurice won. She's the Divas champion That now. match was surprisingly long. Yeah, they did have a bit of a while. There was one, I don't know if you saw it on TV or whatever, I was kind of confused while I was watching it. There was, like, some awkward spot where, like, they went running towards the corner and, like, Gail Kim did, like, a moonsault or something. Oh, yeah, that was fucking, like, Maurice no was idea. nowhere near her, and Gail Kim's like, fuck it, bam. Missed it. It was really weird. Yeah, like, everybody around me was like, what was that? I don't get it. And everybody was just kind of confused for a while. Anyway, uh, the hosts are shown backstage. Uh, Jillian says she can sing better than Jewel, and so she... Bitch, tries uh, to sing and then Jewel says no you can't and slaps her so pretty pretty nice yeah they were talking about it on Twitter apparently <clears throat> they were talking on what? they were talking about the slap on Twitter oh yeah Kofi was like damn that's a slap <laughs> speaking of Kofi there was the next match was a six man Kofi Evan Bourne and Yoshitatsu versus The Legacy which Orton made this match because he's sorry to Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase for letting them down as a leader and that he really wants to show that Legacy can really be a great group tonight and that they can really win RKO DDT. Aww. That was awesome. The crowd went ape shit. I've never, like, that That was insanely loud. Well, I mean, he's been a, he's been like the top face on Raw even though he's been a heel. He was just like 